The end of Game of Thrones was an anticlimactic one for many, as it was expected to be a direct confrontation between Jon Snow and the Night King. But it never happened, as it was Arya who was in charge of confronting him. However, Jon Snow's story is not over. And it may be that in the deepest corners of the North, lies the worst threat ever to exist on the planet. The end of Game of Thrones has been a prologue to the story of Jon Snow, the Promised Prince, and everything that involves the Targaryen legacy. But how will the Night King return? And what is Jon's purpose supposed to be? In today's video we'll talk about Jon's purpose. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. The first thing we must first establish is that there are two important elements shown in Game of Thrones which are perhaps the most important things in this whole universe, which never came to anything. The first is the resurrection of Jon Snow. After Jon decided to head north, and away from the Night's Watch, they took his life. For the Watch. 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 <clears throat> However, the Lord of Light had other plans with John. Melisandre performs a ritual, and he is brought back to life. The resurrection of Jon Snow is one of the most important events of this universe. Because although other characters can be resurrected thanks to the Lord of Light, this would be the first Targaryen and heir to the throne that the Lord of Light resurrects. John's resurrection has a purpose, and this purpose was not fulfilled. If John is indeed the promised prince, the one Edom the Conqueror saw, it means that danger is still approaching. This secret, it's been passed from king to heir since Egon's time. It was a dream, just to begin with a terrible winter, gusting out of the distant north. And whatever dwells within will destroy the world of the living. And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne, strong enough to unite the realm against the cold, and the dark. But the biggest reason John's story still couldn't end is because of the secret of his lineage. Your mother was Lyanna Stark. Your real father was Rhaegar Targaryen. You've never been a bastard. You are Aegon Targaryen, true heir to the Iron Throne. This means that Jon Snow, not only is he the last Targaryen, but he was also resurrected by the Lord of Light and is also heir to the throne. The fact that his role during the Battle of the Long Night was only to distract a dragon is absurd. If we think that the purpose of this character was simply to distract, while Arya finished off the Night King, we are saying that both the Resurrection and his lineage really have no importance, besides that the prophecy was wrong. However, if we assume that the Long Night was just the beginning, then it all makes sense. If Jon Snow is the promised prince, who must reunite the Seven Kingdoms to face an approaching danger, then it would make sense why he was resurrected, and the reason for revealing his secret. Now, we know that the Night King lost his life thanks to Arya Stark, who used the Dagger of the Prophecy. Who really stopped the threat was the Three-Eyed Raven with his plan. Therefore, this knight cannot be the one referred to in the Prophecy. Could it be that all the times John saw the Night King were for nothing? And we thought they would eventually face each other. In one of the scenes in Game of Thrones, we saw how they handed a baby to the Night King, and how he turned him into one of them. This opens the possibility of his return. The YouTube channel, Talking Thrones, 
the same one that had revealed that Jon Snow took Daenerys' life at the end of Game of Thrones before the season finale was released, also revealed that one of their sources had informed them the Night King would return to Jon Snow's series. If this is the case, Snow's series would provide a meaning to everything that happened from what we saw in the Game of Thrones series. But how could the Night King return? After Bran Stark was thrown out of the window, he had several visions about the world, visions of the Three-Eyed Raven. Among these visions he saw the North, the Wall, and far beyond it. He saw the Heart of Winter. The book says the following. Finally he looked to the North. He saw the Wall shining like blue glass, and his bastard brother, John, sleeping alone in a cold bed, his skin getting more and more pale and hard, as the memory of all warmth fled from him. He looked toward the north, toward the curtain of light at the end of the world, and then beyond that curtain. He looked deep into the heart of winter, and then he cried out in fright, and the heat of his tears burned his cheeks. Now you know, whispered the raven as it landed on his shoulder, now you know why you must live. Why? Bran said not understanding. Because winter is coming. Bran looked down. Below was nothing but snow, cold and death. A frozen wasteland where spirals of white and blue ice waited to embrace him. They flew towards him like spears. He saw the bones of a thousand other dreamers stabbed on their spikes. He was desperately afraid. This part of the Song of Ice and Fire book is one of the most revealing parts of what might really be happening. Bran, looking beyond the wall, possibly saw whatever is controlling the White Walkers. My theory with this is that the Walkers, including the Night King, are being controlled by an entity. This entity is the one moving these White Walkers towards Westeros. It is for this reason that we never saw the White Walkers communicating or talking to each other, but we did see them acting in an intelligent manner. Possibly they exist as a collective mind, and this Night King is the avatar of that thing that lives in the heart of winter. Another important element in Bran's vision, is that after he saw that, he started to cry. It was something very horrifying. He also said that he saw the bodies of other dreamers, possibly the three-eyed ravens before him, that were destroyed by the Night King. This means that the destruction of the Night King was only the beginning, and what truly exists in the heart of winter is the enemy that John must face. John, even if he doesn't want to, is fighting for the lore of light, the song of ice and fire. John is the fire being a Targaryen and the ice is this danger that lies in the north. There are several clues in the books that lead us to think that this entity in the north is not a god, but rather a type of entity that came to the planet before men and that manipulates everyone in the battle against the other deity, known as the Lord of Light. But about who they might be, I'll talk about in a future video. If my theory is correct, Jon Snow's story could take him into the depths of the North to discover that the White Walkers still exist, and that there is an incredibly powerful entity, which must still be destroyed. But tell me what you think. What do you think about the rumors of the Night King's return? Do you think you have an idea of what is hidden in the heart of winter? And before I conclude with this video, I want to announce the winner of this month. The winner of the Fonka Pop is Moonshine for Nick. Congratulations and thank you very much for participating. We will be in touch for the giveaway. I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of the videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on, the Three-Eyed Raven.